Are you a cover three listener who is throwing bottles onto the field? Contact our in-house attorney if you need representation to be able to keep your ability to attend Texas athletics events. I thought this was interesting. Only for the rest of the season. Oh, right. The, Only the, for the rest of the season. Texas whole, will take your money again next year. Oh, the whole academic year. Yeah. Okay. So you can't. Right. So, so, so you want to go and, and you want to watch. You, <laughs> spring game. You are not allowed to go watch the spring game. Dude, the Moody Center is nice. Who's handing out this punishment? Kirby Smart? <laughs> so I was I thought that it was a an interesting welcome to the SEC weekend for this for Texas. Because not only do you get the welcome to the SEC moment of having Georgia, the reigning kings of the conference, uh come into your house for the biggest weekend in Austin history and um you know just absolutely put the clamps on you in a 30 to 15 win. But then on Sunday, after the um, the melee uh, of the disruption, the SEC comes out with a two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine. Okay, well, you know what's what's money to Texas, but the SEC also wanted to do some real finger wagging. And what's oh, what? I, I honestly felt like I was getting in trouble in high school again because it was all right. We're not going to take away your car, but I want to remind you that we can take away your car. As the SEC comes out and says, we're not going to take away your alcohol, abil the ability to sell alcohol, your alcohol availability, but we can. I want you to remember that as can a they? member, oh, yeah, as a member of this conference, you have signed over the ability for us as the SEC to take away your rights to sell alcohol at this game, and we will do it. If you do not meet these strict lists, you need to go mow the lawn. You need to rake the leaves. You need to pick up sticks. Sir, you look at me when I'm talking to you. I'm the SEC. So Texas is putting time out. They've been told that they need to review the video footage, identify individuals who threw bottles onto the field, and then revoke their ability to attend Texas athletic events for the rest of the academic year. Gracious. I mean, I don't... Better go to your room and think about what you've Better done. Go to your room and think about this, Texas. So, what games do they have left at home? Like, I'm just trying to figure out how big, how big. So, the the, the games that, that you're going to be missing, like, if you're a Texas fan, obviously you didn't come Florida back to win the Kentucky. Game. But do you remember Mighty Ducks at, at, after the uh, the one like like the, the one guy on on the uh, the black teams like you know, two minutes well worth it? <laughs> this is basically that. It's the Florida and Kentucky games. All right, bro. I mean, if you're what? a Texas season ticket holder, you probably got enough money to go and and uh, yeah, and and buy like buy individual the Big tickets. Big Twelve anyway. would have never dared say this stuff to Texas. No. Like, yeah. Right. What uh, what if the video shows that Matthew McConaughey threw something? Then ooh, what happens? Your minister he threw of a culture. Forearm shiver. He threw a forearm <laughs> shiver. Is what he threw over there on the sideline <laughs> watching the game. What what about? I think this is genius by the SEC. Because what are we talking about? We're talking about the fine for the Texas fans, and we're not talking about the officials who completely went oh, totally on their own and did what they wanted to do and went around the rules and the way everything is procedurally done with without zero accountability. Like there was a very small little thing in there kind of trying to explain what happened. Yeah, we think we got it right. But wait till you hear what we're going to do with Texas's fans for throwing stuff on the field. Because that to me is like, I mean, I know you guys talked about it and it's ridiculous, but I, I think this is the genius of it. The fact that we're all talking about that and not how everything transpired that was actually handled incorrectly by the officials. Well, we did talk about that on Saturday, Danny. If you weren't no, no, no. bed by 8 p.m., you, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I see it. I don't think that's distracted it at all. I just think that's what we're talking about on the show. I just... I don't know. About some accountability, though. They want to hold the fans accountable. What about the officials? Hold them accountable. Oh, I, I don't disagree, but we we talked about it, too. Like, this is not the first time we've seen that this year, where officials yeah. are getting together and changing the calls when they know they're wrong. Yeah, so, Jeff, I don't know about that. He gave him, I know. I know. He gave the, him the uh, Romo. Oh, Jim, I don't know about Jim, that. Jim, I don't know. I know the ACC did the deep dive on Al Riveron, and they found out some of his background. Did you see the head official in the Texas, the background, the Texas-Georgia one? Texas fans – no, see, wait. 
I think Georgia fans and had already, fans. <laughs> and they, had, they had already identified like the even before the game had started, but like, really? who's on the game, we're screwed or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. There there are some guys like is his is the picture that was somebody Jim, did. Sent you remember Jim Jim guy that slow on Fortune as it gets busy on Tex Ags? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I remember there was a guy, Jimbo, really really was like oh this ain't good like and, truly and, and, he he believed to his and obviously all college football the whole, the whole staff are, did yeah. yeah yeah i was like okay it's so the picture of the dude in his office with a football like a game ball and like a texas helmet in the background and like a longhorn over there that's not ai generated of the head official that might be i don't know i can't i don't know sure what's real that anymore <laughs> that is hilarious here's what i know georgia still won yeah. Maybe if Texas had won, that would be a much bigger deal, but Georgia still won. So it didn't really impact the game too much. Texas, uh, by the yeah. way, I think it's going to be a top five team in the SEC this year. Come on. Don't you want to see Rodney Terry's boys? Don't you want to, don't you want to get out there and see those longhorns? Come on. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't throw stuff onto the field. 